would like to call on our mayor, Mayor Randy Hope, to give his inaugural address. I'd first like to welcome everyone here tonight, especially the members, families who are participating tonight, and especially the event that marks a landmark of four years of commitment. It's my own family who is seated to my left, who have uh, put up with quite a bit over the short period of time during the campaign, but I'm glad you're a part of my life today. To a special thank you to a new person in my life who has shared a lot of dreams and a lot of aspirations and a lot of questions she has asked me about this job. To my better half, Diane Zemecki, who will stand by my side for the four years and understand what the uh, civil servant actually goes through. And to my grandson, who needed the suit for tonight, sits there and is a part of my life every day. And I'm looking forward to that. And to the rest of my family members, I thank you for your commitment, your loyalty, and your support over the time. First of all, I'd like to welcome everyone here tonight. A sincere welcome to the Korean delegation, the deputy mayor, and the council vice chair of Fuchan. Thank you for coming this evening. And to the council members, to Justice Stephen Firth and to Pastor Gord Reynolds for their confirmation and support towards a wonderful four years for our community. Thank you both for coming this evening. As we enter into a four-year term of a municipal governance, one of my priorities is strength and power building. Strength is to secure that council and administration will think and act as a team second to no other municipality. Power, to secure that our municipal governing body comprised of the mayor and council and administration open its governing arms and embrace every member of Chatham-Kent. If we work together as a community without fearful and intimidation, divided between municipal hall and our residents, collectively we can progress. If we work independently, secretly, Without respect for Municipal Hall and our citizens, we will digress. Chatham can have every resource to move forward much faster than it has. Demolishing the current division will be paramount to completing a chapter in our book entitled The Success Behind Chatham Kent. Ladies and gentlemen, as I swore before you tonight and before God, our local government of Chatham-Kent will serve you as it should and as it was originally intended to do. There is no doubt in my mind of the significant change that has to take place in the emotional, physical, financial climate in business and in business investment. With a new wave of how general business and industry is conducted, so must the new wave of participation be adopted by Chatham-Kent towards the financial development and subsequently the increase of prosperity for our community. This means both rural and urban. We must appropriately redefine and learn to respect the retail business, the industry, the agricultural business, the labor, and our further reaching domestic business landscape to maximize our urban rural development in both trade and in tourism, all the while securing our collective identity as well as the identity of each of our community in Chatham Kent. No one can wave a magic wand and create the Garden of Eden. We must move our community forward in keeping up the 21st century progress. This means a great deal of hard work, long-term dedication, the, commit, the complete absence of egoism, prejudice, self-indulgence, and personal and all personal agendas. We will become a council, a municipal governing body, a community envied by other communities and admired by many. The most important ingredient is a mayor and a council and an administration to have the same direction, attitude, responsible nature, whereby resulting can, can be the securing of every abundance for our community. As stated several times in my campaign, we must learn to govern our community within the final financial needs of the average taxpayer 
and not just the financially privileged. My goal as your mayor and the goal that I will be endorsing for our council and our administration is not to favor one individual, group, organization, or public body, but to favor everyone. Chatham Kent will open its doors for business in a manner that will be practical, affordable, and pay our residents the best dividends possible. Our municipal bylaws are so written that the mayor of Chatham Kent shall be a full-time position. Pursuant to that bylaw, I will be your full-time mayor. No doubt, a great deal of overtime. Don't worry, it's no extra cost to you. In the early 60s, John F. Kennedy stated, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. With a slight twist of that statement, and given the financial burden we all have been under, I would suggest, suggest that you, the taxpayers, adopt the same. Ask not what you can do for Chatham Kent, but what those, but what those that have been elected and so empowered can do for you. You, the citizen of Chatham Kent, has invested a great deal towards our community. Now it is up to myself as your mayor, our council, our administration, to bring the well-deserved dividends that are rightfully owner to the rightful owners, that is the, sh the true shareholders of Chatham Kent, that is the most valuable asset is you, the taxpayers and the residents of this community. During my campaign I was asked my long-term commitment to our community as mayor. And I stated a 12-year, three-term tender as your mayor. I hope that I will perform to your best of your expectations and deserve at least 12 years or three terms as your mayor for the municipality of Chatham Kent. Once again, to everybody, my sincere thank you. And I look forward to the four years of working with this wonderful council that sits before me today. Thank you very much.